brought in generators and we've been in contact with them. And so like in that area, that's one of our focuses. And uh, we're hoping uh, by, the, by this evening to have at least one of their uh, power supply feeds back to them. Well, it, it's very difficult. It's spread over a large area, and then also just gaining access to some of the areas. Uh, some of the areas, actually, we uh, still have yet to gain access to. Uh, we contracted with a company that uh, brought in a couple drones today. Uh, we've been flying over some of the areas with drones that we've not been able to access yet, uh, because again, we're we're trying to gather information. You know, we're. Of course, we're working today, we're planning for tomorrow, but we're also staging and making our plans for three and four days out to try to make the most effective use of all of our crews. What's your advice? I mean, I know there's a lot of down power lines still, people kind of walking around. And I've seen people sometimes step in driving over some of these. As power starts to return, I mean, is, is this pose a dangerous situation for people? Well, anytime that you see down power lines, you need to stay, you need to stay away from them to be safe. Before we re-energize areas, just like you see all the crews working here, we'll go through uh, to make to see what's down and make sure that we make those areas safe before we restore power. But always, as a rule, you need to stay away from down power lines. I've been in this business for 30 years. I've seen a lot of tornadoes, a lot. I've never seen any bend up, bend that metal pole down there, down there yesterday like I did. I, we were just I have seen a few. It's unusual. Uh, again, I've, I've heard from media that this was an uh, EF3, I believe, so that's significant wind. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it did a lot of damage that we don't typically see in thunderstorms and certainly in some of the, even some of the tornadoes that we've seen in the past. That's, every, that's all of the wood, poles, wood, metal. wood, metal, everything. Are those 600, are those that need to be replaced or are those that need to be fixed? In, those are 600 that will have to be replaced. Completely replaced. Completely replaced. Is there like a, a stash of poles? We, the we, ha we keep uh, supplies and material on hand. Our uh, procurement folks have been working with a lot of our suppliers to make sure that we uh, have a steady supply of material coming in. One of the things that helps, uh, in, as opposed to something like a widespread thunderstorm or an ice storm, uh, this has only affected a small number of utilities. So, uh, you know, the ability to get, get material uh, is a little better than some of the other natural disasters we might face. Is it, is it something where you're, you're waiting for some materials to come in? No, no, we have, we have plenty of materials on hand. How long would it take to get all of them replaced? Well, it, it, we will be possibly a couple of months. Uh, we don't, ex customers won't be out that long. You know, we're doing what we need to do today to get power restored to customers. We're doing things, some things that are temporary uh, that we'll have to go back and make permanent fixes. So, you know, we'll, we'll be a couple of months uh, fixing all of the damage. Well, uh, today, we again, we have 229 trucks out working today. Uh, our, our, at NES, we have uh, around 80 to 90 trucks available to us at all times. Because of the growth that Nashville is experiencing, uh, we have about 40 contractor bucket trucks that work in the area all the time. We've pulled them from doing some of the capital work that they usually do to work storm damage. And then we had another uh, 100 to 120 trucks that we brought in overnight. Do you have a guesstimate? I mean, I'm not going to hold you. We're not going to hold you anything. A guesstimate of how much this is going to cost? You, you know, I, I'm an engineering and operations guy. I, I, I leave the uh, finance to the finance people. When the, the, say a lot. It, <laughs> a lot. When the tornado first hit to now, how many customers have you uh, restored power to? From the a.m. hours of yesterday morning to now, we have restored power to about 18,000 customers. And, and, and again, a lot of our focus has, this has done a lot of damage to uh, our infrastructure, our transmission lines, 
you, you talked about the large metal pole that you saw bent. Those are things that we typically don't see in normal thunderstorm damage that we see that we deal with, uh, which those transmission lines have caused some of our substations to be without power. Uh, we've already assessed all of the substations. That infrastructure is fine, but we've got to get power back to those substations before we can uh, begin uh, making a good dent into the distribution system. 229 trucks, how long does it take a truck to get you know, 600 poles you need to replace? Is, is there, is, I, is it, does it vary on? on it, it varies on the pole uh, as far as accessibility. And again, some things we'll fix temporarily. Some things we can figure out how to do without for a while. So it, it's hard to put a, a, a time on how long. Uh, you said Monday. This will be the last question. Thank you. Sure. We got to get him back. You said Monday was the, uh, you know, that's that's the estimate for um, when you hope to have power back. Well, that we're hoping that by Monday that those who can uh, receive power will have power. We'll we will still have certain pockets that we're still doing a lot of repairs to, partic because you see a lot of people's homes are gone. So, you know, the, some of those areas, uh, you know, will take longer to restore. Well, again, I just, I want to, uh, you know, I want everybody to be safe. I want to recommend that, you know, those of you that have power, reach out to your neighbors, uh, help them during these times and so that we can all get through this. And uh, please keep our uh, line workers uh, in your thoughts and prayers. They've got a difficult job and they've got a lot more days out here to work. We just want everybody to be safe and take care of each other.